Bonafide Hustler here, and today I want to share with you some really cool RC flips that I've done. What's going on guys and gals? Chris the Bonafide Hustler coming to you live from the inside of my office. And we're at the last day, the last hours of my RC to Bucks deal for the new guide, which is right here. First link down below, scoop up a copy. So last day, we're down to the last hours of the sale. Intro launch week discount, it's a good deal. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some cool RC flips that I've done, and it starts with, I'm gonna look over here on the screen because there's some cool pictures I'm gonna flash here, but I have to look there. Anyway, um, the very first item is a Traxxas Slash. Now, Traxxas is one of the best brands to be reselling when it comes to RC. This Traxxas Slash, I actually found at a Goodwill. It was 20 bucks, and it was in this large plastic bag, um, and it needed an A-arm, which was a broken uh, piece that kind of goes from the chassis to the wheel. Anyway, really quick fix, right? And uh, I went home, tested it out, because it had everything with it, right? Sure enough, it fires up. It was in really good condition. It sold for $220. Uh, within like a couple days. I mean, these things are really awesome. Traxxas Slash vehicles, there's probably like 10 different models of Slash vehicles out there. Um, this one right here was a brushed Slash model with the BF Goodrich tires as well. So it was a little bit more expensive than a normal brushed model. All the stuff that I'm talking about, these kind of interesting terms are all discussed in the new guide, by the way. But yeah, that was an easy, easy flip that I found from a Goodwill. I couldn't believe I found it there, but it was there in a really big plastic bag with everything with it. Next one, this Traxxas Bandit. I found this at a garage sale uh, that was like two exits down from my house. It was 10 bucks, actually might've been eight bucks. Um, but yeah, it was just sitting there, had the box and everything like that. Um, and it was crazy because when I looked at this thing, I was like, oh my gosh, like this is actually a brushless, which means a much faster version of a buggy. Anyway, so this one I believe sold for between 120 and 160, something like that, I sold it locally. Anyway. So this one uh, was really fast. I actually liked playing with it a whole bunch. Um, I had the charger at my house to charge the battery um, that would go into this kind of vehicle. Um, you can actually see on this other picture too that uh, one of the mods that was done on this car was a brushless mod. Basically the person had you know, spent about 160 bucks to put a brand new motor and a brand new ESC in there, electronic speed control, and uh, it made the car twice as fast or it made this buggy twice as fast. So yeah, once I saw that in there, I was like, oh my gosh, like there's just so much yes in this picture, it was crazy. So it was easy to make that decision in two seconds at the garage sale that I had to buy this thing. And uh, yeah, this one sold for between, I think 120 and 160 locally, uh, really easy flip. Plus I got to play with it for a little bit, which was cool as well. So that was a Traxxas Bandit, also another vehicle that Traxxas makes. Next up, garage sale. This was an OS Max motor. Uh, I think it was a CV15 or something like that. Brand new, sitting there. I actually paid up for this thing. I think I paid 20 or 25 bucks for this thing um, at a garage sale, but it was brand new. And motors are one of those things when it comes to RC that carries really good value. So motors, ESCs, aluminum parts, you know, awesome shock absorbers, wheels, tires. The guide teaches you all kinds of stuff on what to be on the lookout for. But anyway, this motor was just chilling at a garage sale. I actually bought another motor beside this one too. That one sold for like 50 bucks or something like that. It was kind of torn up, but this one was brand new. I spent 20 or 20 on this one it sold on ebay for 109 within a week and uh yeah so it was easy to ship out obviously it's a very little box and since it's brand new there's nothing i had to do to it right but yeah motors are one of those things you definitely want to look out for if you're dealing with rc this was pretty cool i found this at a thrift store when i find these kind of things at thrift stores are usually five bucks or below this was a turbo hopper you know this was an easy easy kind of score because this one i think sold for 63 dollars and um on ebay this turbo hopper had some broken parts on it. You know, actually this, these pictures are actually in my guide of this turbo hopper, but um, yeah, this is a Tyco consumer grade toy RC. So not hobby grade like Traxxas or anything that we saw before. Uh, but yeah, this is a consumer toy grade RC that was probably issued in the late eighties, maybe early nineties. Anyway, you know, the hopper series of Tyco's vehicles were very, very popular. And so this one right here, even in this condition, you know, with broken parts, no controller, no battery, no way to test it, still sold for $63 on eBay. Pretty cool. Let's talk about a deal I did like eight months ago. So these two trucks that you're seeing right here, there was an Atraxxas E-Revo brushless edition, and there was also a Traxxas E-Max brushless edition too. Um, I went to a guy's uh, kind of ranch land for a bike rack, I think is what it was, right? And he was like, yeah, I'm selling a bike rack, and it was a really good deal. So I go out there and I realize, man, he's actually not selling just this bike rack. He's selling another bike rack, so I picked that one up too. I made a ton of money on this deal, by the way. And then he was like, oh yeah, you know, I'm just selling a bunch of stuff. I'm an ex-hobbyist. I was like, what? So he takes me into his like enormous garage, which is filled with nothing but like RC stuff and robotic stuff. And I go in there and I was like, so he's like, point to anything. He's like, and I'll 
I'll make you a deal on it. So I pointed to the T-Max, uh, or an Emax, sorry. I pointed to the Emax, the brushless Emax, which is the one with the red body. Um, and that one needed, uh, I think it needed the bulkhead uh, swapped out with a new bulkhead, which was already there. Like he already had the part there. He just hadn't done it. Uh, pretty easy fix. Probably takes about 30 minutes, you know? Um, anyway, so that thing and the controller and the bulkhead was there. Um, and he was like, yeah, for that one, like 50 bucks. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, like 50 bucks. Are you kidding me? So like uh, an Emax, the Traxxas Emax alone, the brushless edition starts around like $400. So when he said 50 bucks for something that was in really good condition already that he had probably smashed into a sidewalk or something, um, I was like, I'm all game, right? And then I noticed there was this Traxxas E Revo brushless like you know truck next to it it was like mint he's like uh i actually never used that one uh he's like that one has to be like uh 200 bucks i was like done because like an e-revo alone is like four to five hundred bucks brand new i was like all right so i spent 250 coming out of that place and then within two weeks and i played with the the red one um in my neighborhood quite a bit actually and within two weeks i had sold the entire thing for 500 bucks cash um i had to i did have to travel like five miles north of my house to do that but it doesn't matter 500 bucks cash boom just like that two Traxxas vehicles that honestly in Traxxas lineup um the pinnacle of their lineup is the T-Max, the E-Revo, and the X-Max, and stuff like that. So all these kind of things you can learn in the guide as well. And it's the last day of the deal. Today is the last day. At midnight, it's over. So please go pick it up. Learn this thing. That way, when you go to thrift stores, you go to garage sales, that you're actually armed with more ammunition to make more profit and more money. Because this stuff is sitting there every now and then, and you have to be able to pick it up and be confident enough to make that buying decision go right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Link is down below. Pick up the guide, and I'll see you on the next Bonafide Hustler video. Take it easy. Goodbye.